As Travis Taylor and his crew continued to search for paranormal and UFO-related activity on Skinwalker Ranch's 512 acres of peculiar terrain, they excavated locations where they had spotted evidence of strange occurrences. With the permission of Brandon Fugel, the owner of Skinwalker Ranch, this persistent searching and digging eventually led to the conclusion that they needed to move on to the next phase of excavations if they were to make any progress in the discovery of strange extraterrestrial activities on the ranch. This must have resulted from the events that transpired on Homestead 2 some time ago. Following the occurrence that occurred earlier in the year, the team became more cautious when excavating. However, they conducted modest excavations in an effort to discover any additional scientific evidence that may have been concealed beneath the Triangle region. However, as they continued this excavation, the crew began to experience strange occurrences. Not only did their small excavation begin malfunctioning, but one team member also observed that his phone was malfunctioning. The team was compelled to consider the possibility that the phone had been hacked, despite the possibility that the device was an Android device. Whatever the reason, something was obviously amiss. Was the universe attempting to communicate? Could it be an alert? Clearly this was difficult for the crew to understand. Regardless, they continued working diligently. While digging and sifting through the excavated soil, the team was anxious to discover anything metallic. Perhaps this explains why the ground in this region was so conductive. In addition, the team monitored the area using a spectrum analyzer, a gamma ray detector, a lightning strike meter, and a metal detector so that they could detect any environmental changes as soon as they occurred. They did this while disturbing the Earth in order to return to this location in the future. Thus, they would be able to re-evaluate the area and compare their new findings to their original ones in order to identify any alterations. Unfortunately, they soon realized that they were unable to ascertain what was causing their metal detectors to produce erratic and polarized readings. In spite of this, the team continued to dig deeper, particularly after observing that the meter readings were becoming increasingly accurate. Due to the absence of metal artifacts during the excavation, the team began to suspect that they were on the precipice of discovering a large metal structure. Surely something must be concealed beneath the surface of the land. Such a theory is supported by tales that suggest caverns may be concealed beneath the ground. Some believe it could be something even more implausible, whereas others believed they were about to encounter an underground base. As a result, you can assume that the team was hesitant to enter such a territory without first studying it or gathering more information. The crew had to continue excavating beyond the eight-foot trench they had already dug. As their excavator was not equipped to dig deeper into the earth, this would prove to be a bit of a challenge. As a result, the team was unable to continue their excavation, leaving them in the unfortunate position of being unable to ascertain what was happening beneath the ranch's soil. Therefore, they decided to alter their strategy by conducting a comprehensive magnetometry survey of the region. This would be fantastic for the team because it would allow them to acquire more information about the region. It could, at best, assist them determine the cause of these energy spikes. It could also help them determine if there is a conduit or a base below. James Kennan even suggested that if they excavate deep enough, they may encounter a flooded tunnel. This brings to mind an episode of the History Channel's television program, The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. In one of the episodes, the crew was excavating a location when they discovered a strange metallic object. Using heavy equipment, the crew dug while attempting to determine what this object was. Unfortunately, this machine will be a hindrance, because it suddenly ceased working after a period of time. After discovering that the machine lacked hydraulic pressure for some reason, the team quickly realized they may have a larger issue on their hands. If the lack of hydraulic pressure was caused by the spillage of the machine's hydraulic fluid, the fluid could have contaminated anything they discovered in the vicinity. As a consequence, they decided to return a sample of the fluid and soil to the laboratory for analysis. Witnesses to the scene would be intrigued by what they would discover. As a result of the aforementioned analysis of their hydraulic fluid and soil samples, the team discovered that something else may have contributed to their issues. They determined that the malfunction of their machine was caused by the presence of a dark substance in the melange. 
Even though they were unable to precisely identify this substance, they were able to determine that it was organic. This pushes them to continue searching around the area, and as a result, they come across other strange items. A large metallic orb appeared to be the most significant of the objects discovered. Despite analyzing these objects, the team was unable to determine precisely what they were. Therefore, they concluded that they were technological devices of some type. Despite the fact that the episode ended without the team having a complete understanding of what they were up against, they departed determined to solve this enigma. Together, they vow to do everything possible to uncover the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. Using the most advanced science and technology at their disposal, they will document and analyze the odd occurrences on the ranch. Fairly speaking, that episode of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch is one of the most intriguing of the series, particularly because it leaves viewers wondering what is really going on at the ranch. Using ground-penetrating radar, one of the show's technological innovations, the crew currently on a treasure hunt on Oak Island discovered an archaeological artifact that captivated all who came across it. Initially believed to be a bolt for a crossbow, an archaeologist discovered the fragment of metal and concluded that it must have been a javelin, one of the ancient Romans' preferred weapons. The team also discovered a metal fragment that gave them optimism that they had discovered what they had been searching for ever since the Oak Island curse first appeared on television. Unfortunately, upon analyzing the metal object, the team discovered that it contained only a small amount of gold. Despite the fact that the team utilizes some of the finest equipment available, Oak Island's enigma becomes progressively more puzzling as time passes. The team also had to consider whether or not they had permission to dig on the property, despite the fact that the use of metal detectors had produced a number of historically significant discoveries. According to the law, there could be a large number of individuals who had a stake in a discovery despite not having participated in the excavation. For this reason, the Lagina brothers obtained a treasure trove license, allowing them to retain 90% of the rights to their discoveries. As a result, this may protect them from multiple claimants to any wealth they locate. This could include anyone from the government to residents of the discovery site. Either way, they would have a lot to do to shake the Lagina brothers off from skipping into the sunset with their treasure. In any case, only time will tell if the Lagina brothers or those on Skinwalker Ranch will encounter something similar when they make their greatest discoveries. This concludes the video. Explore our previous videos at your leisure to have your mind overwhelmed. Also be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload engaging content.